So, I went to the doctor earlier, and um, I wasn't really pleased with the news I got. Um, I got to the appointment, and the research article that I was talking about, uh, having them read, but forgot about gangrenous abscesses or whatever um i told them about the research and it and my nurse the wound care nurse was just kind of nodding um when i suggested that i might have crohn's disease and not ulcerative colitis she was like you know when you were here last time about two weeks ago she was like that's what we thought ourselves because when they took the wafer off um it it didn't look any better it hasn't looked any better and it was there like it, they measured it and it's actually gotten bigger um god like today it was so disappointing because like she actually agrees with me that i might have Crohn's disease instead of ulcerative colitis. One of the signs that does point to that is the fact that um, the last time I got a CT scan, I got two CT scans within a week of each other um, back in December, so a week before Christmas. I had to have the CT scans because I was in so much pain. Um, in my stomach, I thought I had a blockage. And when they did the CT scan, they found that I had inflammation in my small intestines. I didn't see a GI doctor or an actual surgeon. It was the resident's opinion that, oh, well, you actually might have a little less inflammation in your small intestines now, or it might be some just trick of my anatomy I, that's kind of what he said or whatever um, so anyway the appearance of this abscess the fact that it's not getting any better with antibiotics she said just seems to suggest that I might have I probably have ulcer um, Crohn's disease not uh, ulcerative colitis and then I told her that I think even more that I have Crohn's because last week or the week before that I got like a canker sore on my tongue for no reason I do not get canker sores and it just came out of nowhere and I have had other manifestations of disease in other parts of my body like when my UC was flaring I would get a lot of pain in my joints I don't think that's abnormal but yeah that would happen and then um vomiting was always accompanied by the flares like when the flares were really bad I would always start just throwing up pretty much any time I tried to drink or eat anything which happened last August and before that in January and before that in August again so it was just a cycle years of just vomiting when the disease got really bad so to treat the abscess that has now gotten a couple centimeters larger centimeters millimeters i don't know um it's a little bit larger the doctor decided to use i think silver nitrate to try to cauterize the wound which first of all is a good idea but <laughs> It really freaking hurts. Uh, like, that was at 9 o'clock this morning when they cauterized it with the silver nitrate, and it still freaking burns. I am so afraid to take this dressing off and see what's going on inside of uh, that wound. Hopefully, it will help clear it up. If it doesn't help clear it up, then it's all for nothing, and I'm suffering for nothing. Which I'm not, you know, not used to, but it definitely sucks. So, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, trying to figure out what to do. Trying to figure out if they're even going to 
do the work to diagnose it. When I last saw GI back in, let's see, December. When I last saw a GI back in December, they were all too happy to get rid of me as a patient because my ulcerative colitis has really been frustrating them just because it hasn't been controlled by medication. So they were like, oh, well, you got your colectomy. That means you're cured. You don't have to come back to us. Even though they were saying that I was having disease activity in my rectum, they're like, oh no, you don't need to come see us. Now you're just going to consult with surgery and be seen in the surgery clinic. Um, but apparently nothing is cured. I still have UC active in my rectum. And on top of that, I might even have ulcerative colitis. I mean, on top of that, I might just have Crohn's. Um, which I had told them, I have a cousin right my grandmother's nephew has Crohn's so I just thought it would be weird that I would have ulcerative colitis but my cousin has Crohn's disease um, I know there's some hereditary factor at work I mean I don't know how strong it is it wouldn't be unheard of for us to have two different diseases but yeah, I have always suspected that it was just Crohn's disease. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. My daughter will be coming to the car in a couple minutes, so I'm waiting for her. The video, if the video is at a weird angle, I apologize. I'm vlogging in the car. I'm trying to force myself to like document everything and just the frustrations of it, but also trying to force myself to remain positive continue to advocate for myself and just kind of remember that it could be much worse than what it is now um, I could still have ulcerative colitis um, it's January now the disease has been flaring every single January or December for like the past three or four years this was the first year in a few years and I didn't have to be in the hospital at the beginning of January. So it's not really as bad as things could be. So I'm trying to stay really super positive, even though it seems like there's nothing to be positive about. Um, my husband, he kind of freaked out when I told him that the doctor and the nurse think I have ulcerative, I mean, he freaked out when I told him that the doctor and the nurse think I have Crohn's disease. So now he's really upset, but since I know that my husband and my daughter are prone to worrying, uh, particularly about worrying about my health status, I have to like be the person who's going to be strong, be calm and collected and really positive about things. Um, because he's upset now. If I told my daughter, she would be upset now if they knew or thought that I wasn't actually cured. They've been through a lot with me throughout this whole, like, 14, 15 years with the disease. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm at now. If I change my appliance tonight before I start editing the video, I'll insert a picture of what the wound looks like now it's not pretty and it looks weird but I'm just I want to post this more as information for people who might be going through the whole process of dealing with an abscess near the stoma an abscess that just won't go away and are trying to get ideas about wound care maybe you have nurses or doctors that were similar to the ones I saw in the ER who just either have no clue or are not inclined to help you so anyway I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you soon